In this session, we're gonna make a little bookmark. It's really simple, looks like this, and it just fits right on the corner of a page. Um, so as you're flipping a book, you can easily you know, have a colored sheet or a white sheet and be able to see what corner you're using. I'm gonna end up using this little purple square once we get our origami square made. So I'm gonna set that aside for a second. Um, in my classroom, you would just simply take a 60 pound piece of paper like we always do and you can turn it into a square by folding the side down to the other edge here like that rolling it close folding it and use your bone folder to make a nice sharp crease okay take this other edge down here and you're gonna cut this piece off so I like to fold it back to get a nice crease there and then cut along the crease. Okay, and I'm going to use my ball and folder. You're going to open it up and use your scissors. Alright, and I'm going to make mine with this little teeny piece of purple paper. Okay, but you can do either, either one, large piece. You can make them super small, you can make them bigger, whatever you want. Um, so you just folded your paper like this to get a square. Okay, we're going to fold it in half one more time to get a triangle. It's just a bit smaller. Use your bone folder. And then open it back up. You should have a crease down the middle. Okay, take the bottom corner here, fold it up so that it meets right up with that crease. So it looks like that. Okay, and then you're going to take this corner here and fold it down to this corner. Crease it with your bone folder. Fold the other edge down, this corner down to this corner. Use your bone folder. Okay, and now you should have two flaps on the top. One, two, and then there's a larger flap on the back. You can see mine's white. Okay, you're going to take this corner here. You're actually going to tuck it inside this flap right there. Tuck it inside. And crease that edge with your fingernails or use a bone folder if you want. Take the next flap and tuck it inside. Crease it with your fingers, and there you have your bookmark. Very simple. You can make them with small paper, you can make them with large paper, and it just fits right there on the end, or the rather the corner of a piece of paper. And that's how you make a simple bookmark.